First, a developing scene in Sheridan. A crime spree ends with two people shot, a third person assaulted. Right now, one, possibly two suspects are in custody, and one or two others are still on the run. And now Lance Hernandez is live in Sheridan. And Lance, this all started as a bank robbery. It started as a bank robbery just after 11 o'clock in Lakewood out on uh, West uh, Jewel and South Kipling. Now, I am told that there were at least three, possibly four bandits that went into the bank wearing masks. And we learned just a few minutes ago from the FBI that they believe these are the scream bandits who have robbed a number of other banks in the metro area. We are also told that they herded a number of employees into the bank vault. Now, we shot some video a little bit earlier in Lakewood where they ditched the vehicle they took from that bank uh, on the 3200 block of Vance Street, then stole another one at gunpoint in the vicinity of El Dorado and Pierce. That's where they carjacked a man at gunpoint. Things then took a turn for the worse. They assaulted that man. They shot him. Uh, they took his van. I'm told that his injuries are not life-threatening. We are told that schools are still on lockdown here in Sheridan, but the school district has just come up with a plan to reunify students with their parents uh, in the vicinity here. City Hall was shut down for the duration of the day because there was a danger. We took video of uh, SWAT team members. We are told that there are at least three, possibly four SWAT units out here on the scene, as well as up to nine K-9 units. They are now going from building to building. They cleared the library. They cleared uh, the recreation center and a number of schools, and now they're going through some of the buildings buildings on uh, the Fort Logan campus here to make sure that they uh, don't have any uh, bank robbers hiding in those areas. Now, I told you a little bit earlier that they've arrested at least one individual, possibly two. They're telling us now that that second person they took into custody in front of our cameras uh, about 40 minutes ago on the east side of the school was not one of those uh, individuals, and they have let him go, but we will keep you updated with this story. Reporting live in Sheridan, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.